Okay. Come with me with Deuteronomy chapter 11, verses 26 through 28. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Okay. Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. So what is God doing? He is, or he has, we get to choose whether we want to be blessed or cursed. 27. A blessing if ye obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you this day. So this is saying, in simple terms, if you choose to obey God, he is going to bless you. I know that in some churches, they may say to you, well, you know, if you give me $100 or $200, God is going to bless you for five months. Now, I believe that when you help people with money, you are going to reap what you sow. But how can a person say that how long God is going to help you for? How can they say for five months or for two years? No one knows how long God is going to bless you for giving money or doing a good deed. But if you are constantly doing things for people, then God is going to constantly bless you. But to get back on point, this is saying the way to get blessed is by doing what? By following the rules and regulations of God. So simple. Kevin, why are these bad things happening to me? Let's continue on reading. Chapter or verse 28. In a curse, if ye will not obey the commandments of the Lord your God. This is the reason why bad things are happening to you. Kevin, why is it that I am cursed? <laughs> verse 28. This is why you are cursed. This is why you are cursed. It is one thing if you are doing right by God and bad things are happening to you. That is one thing. You are under demonic attack. You know, you may be going through generational curses. But if you are doing wrong and bad things are happening to you, these things are happening because of your sin. 28. And a curse if ye will not obey the commandments of the Lord your God. So you are going to get cursed when you choose to disobey God. Very simple. But turn aside out of the way which I command you this day. And a curse if ye will not obey the commandments of the Lord your God. But turn aside out of the way which I command you this day to go after other gods which ye have not known. So this is saying, don't worship other gods. Stop worshiping Allah. Don't worship Buddha and all of these fake false gods. This person gave me a comment and he was saying, is it possible to be a Christian or to serve God and believe in another religion? How can you? The rules and regulations of God is different from any other religion. So how can you serve God properly and serve another religion? If you are not placing Jesus Christ as your savior, if you are not following his rules and regulations, if you don't believe fully on Jesus Christ, how can you be saved? If you believe Jesus Christ to be a prophet, how can you be saved? Think about that. God bless.